Barack Hussein Obama, Barack Hussein Obama, Barack Hussein Obama. McCain apologized for those comments, but if Obama succeeds in nailing down the nomination, be prepared for an assault on his patriotism, including more Drudge Report attacks on Obama with photos like this one, and an effort to use this photo of Obama during the singing of the national anthem to question his love of America. This is Republican Congressman Jack Kingston on Bill Maher's program last Friday. The guy would not say the Pledge of Allegiance and won't put an American uh, lapel pin on his coat. That's things voters are watching. And where do they stand on America? What is their relationship? Well, that Joining me now is that man, Republican Congressman Jack Kingston from Georgia. Thanks very much for taking the time. Appreciate it. Dan, thank you for having me. All right. Now, isn't this pure sleaze? I mean, the notion to sort of attack Obama based on the fact that he's not patriotic because they got a picture of him with his hands down when the Pledge of Allegiance is being played? Well, I think that there's just questions that the American people want to know about. I mean, you know, when, when you listen to why he doesn't wear an American flag button, it's a very convoluted answer. And, you know, American flag buttons, I've been in politics, you've been around politicians a long time, Dan. Everybody wears them, from a mayor to a county commissioner to members of Congress to the president. And it's curious that suddenly there's a guy that doesn't want to well, do it. And if you, you well, put that with the wife's comment the first time in her adult life, she's proud of America, yeah. you run right. into be the number one cheerleader in the country. So I think these questions aren't right. off limits. Congressman, first let me ask you, you're not wearing a lapel pin, are you? I will wear one, and I have worn one. But, I'm not but, making a statement but about you, it. But do you see my point? And then I, I bring one to I you mean, next show. I, mean, I had no idea you were going to show up without a lapel pin, <laughs> but it seems kind of absurd that you're saying that Barack Obama's patriotism should be questioned because he's not wearing a lapel pin, and then you come on the show not wearing one. Well, Dan, I don't follow that at all. I'm saying I will be glad to wear one. I have worn one, and I do wear one. But Barack Obama says he won't wear one. That's a completely different thing. Well, look, you're let's probably not wearing one right now. I'm but not. You, would you wear one? But I'm, of course, I, I would wear one. I've See, no, I, there you but, go. But I don't feel. <laughs> I mean, but I wouldn't criticize someone who doesn't. I wouldn't say I'm going to question you know, someone's patriotism. Dan, Dan, would I wear one at some time? I've, Dan, I, I have, I've worn one. I think you, once you in my what, life at one point for something. You know something. why these these as you call them attacks? I don't really think they're attacks. I think it's just a little banner back and forth. It seems that the left has have their hypersensitivity buttons on, but it works. Apparently, it's like scratching fingernails across the blackboard when you say Barack Hussein Obama yeah. and all the, you know. I you're not heard... going to suggest, but you know it's intentional. You would at least uh, admit that including uh, his middle name is an intentional thing, right? Uh, uh, absolutely. Okay. There's, no, there's right. no question about it. I mean, but, you know, that's banner. The, the real issues, as you know, really are he wants to spend $800 billion in new social right, problems. See, he wants but, to but Bomb. Those are the issues. I don't think. I don't think that the the far right. Now I'm not necessarily associating you with the far right, but I think that the far right is not going to focus on those issues. Instead, they're going to focus on this nonsense, like whether he wears a lapel pin, whether there's a photo of him with his hands down. You, look, you made that very point on Bill Maher. You were saying uh, this is a guy who you know, isn't pledged and doesn't have his hand on his heart uh, during the national anthem. He doesn't wear a lapel pin. And then we got pictures of John McCain not wearing a lapel pin too. Yeah. Well, you know. The, the interesting thing is it really does somehow strike a nerve on the left, and so I think the right's going to continue doing it. Now, but listen, you know, because it's because bill, it's innuendo, Dan, and it's, Dan, and it's Dan, not issue on, on the Bill Maher show, I also brought up the fact that he was interested in bombing uh, in Pakistan which, without Which isn't permission. true either, because and, well, we just proved on our... Uh, yeah, he never said that either. I mean, <laughs> he had a statement about that. Now, okay, would you agree that this is true? His health care plan is a $65 billion price tag on top of all Look, kinds of other programs, which are big spending programs, and all that's relevant, but it seems like a lot of times the guys on the left only want to talk about the minutia, and I think, I, you know, this isn't, ones... this isn't minutia? I mean, Time Magazine photo of Obama uh, during the national anthem. Again, that to you is not minutia? Well, let me say this. I can bring that up, but it's the left that wants to continue talking about it, and that's why the right's going to do it. That's why the Bill Cunninghams bring up the middle name, because it seems to drive the left crazy, and we're having a good time watching it. <laughs> you know, listen, listen, Dan, you've got to remember, Hillary Clinton has not been able to attack Obama. It's a powder puff contest, because she has to be very, very careful. Right. Well, Congress, but in the general election, you don't have that problem. It's wide open. I've got to wrap it up. Go get your lapel pin back on before I'll the next, you one, <laughs> before the next time you come on you. the show, make sure you're wearing it. I'll bring one Congressman for you. Congressman Kingston, thank you very much. Okay.